Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, well, you can say the next seven days, but you know, the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So this reading may or may not be for you. So what do we have for Aries? Oh, we had one card come out. Oh, somebody else got this as well. It was either Taurus or Gemini, because those are the ones that I've done. Um, so it was either Taurus or Gemini, so I don't know if you're dealing with, with one of them or not, but Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. So there is some sort of protection here for you. Mm -mm. And what do we have for Aries? Oh, there we go. Ooh, tent. Temporary situations. I don't know if you're in a temporary living situation because that's what a tent is. Okay, you may be in a temporary living situation right now. Um, maybe it's just about time to pack up and go someplace else, you know, the weather's changing, you know, the season is changing, so the season's changing, they use that as a metaphor, okay? So it looks like you're in a temporary situation, a temporary living situation, it's probably gonna be changing soon. This one fell out as well, chair filled, someone new is entering your life, maybe they've already entered. This is a person with dark hair. So there is somebody here that is entering your life or this person has already entered your life. There's somebody new that is coming around. This person does have dark hair. What do we have for Aries? Skilled player. So I don't, I don't know. We may be dealing with a skilled player. You could be the skilled player. We definitely have a skilled player here. Somebody that is very skilled. At, I don't know. We got a bunch of cards there on the table. So yeah, there is somebody here that is very skilled. <clears throat> opportunity apparently you've been missing an opportunity you have missed an opportunity maybe you're dealing with somebody that's playing with you and you haven't been able to well I think you've been ignoring your gut okay you haven't been listening to your gut you may know that you're dealing with a player but you've been ignoring it you have been ignoring your gut in some way let's get one more card. oh there it is Ooh, there's a younger man here. Some of you are dealing with a younger man. You're dealing with somebody that has a younger man. Very interesting. Let's get one of these. There is a missed opportunity here. Maybe it's with a younger man. Six of Swords, it is reversed. So refusing to move on. We got somebody here that is in some troubled situation. They're refusing to move on. Whoa. We got the Fool reversed on the bottom, which represents you. This is missed opportunity again. So you guys, this is a missed opportunity. This is being naive, uh, just making a poor judgment call. I hate to tell you this but the full reverse is stupid okay it's stupid behavior you know it's not being it's letting your fear or unwilling to take risks get in the way of new opportunities this is definitely missing an opportunity stuck stuck okay so it feels like you're stuck um six of wands reversed Whew. refusing to take a new approach refusing to go now the six of wands reversed is uh, 
Typically it can be unwelcome news or a setback. There's somebody here that is following the pack. You know, they're not taking any action. Definitely with the four reverse, they're not taking any action. They're staying stuck in this troubled situation where there's where there's a lot of waves. There's it's cold. It's it's uh it's almost like it's dangerous. You need to move on from something, but there's a reluctance to move on. reverse that's refusing refusing to take a new approach missing an opportunity <sighs> somebody's playing games maybe you're playing games I don't know somebody is playing games here Queen of Cups <laughs> versus the Queen of Swords I just cut the deck <laughs> Isn't that funny? So you got you've got uh, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Woo! So interesting. Okay, this is very very interesting. This is emotions and it's truth. Okay, we got somebody here that is very emotional that it uses their feelings to get through life. This is a very feeling queen that you know that uses their. Um, emotions you know we have a very emotional individual here that um, speaks of love then we get the Queen of Swords now the Queen of Swords is in reversed so there's a woman that has come in to wreck havoc this person is very authentic very very truthful this person uh, has wrecked some sort of havoc on your life. You're definitely dealing with two women here. Both of these women have a big heart. Queen of Cups has a big heart and the Queen of, of Swords in reverse has a big heart. So. If we do have a big heart, we have some, we have a woman here, or two women. They, both of these women have a big heart. One of them is very authentic and truthful, you know, and speaks harshly about things. The other one hides their feelings and keeps their feelings inside, um, but is very very emotional. May. Th mm -hmm. hmm. If you put these two queens together, if it's one person, there could be emotional blackmail. You may be dealing with somebody that's using emotional blackmail on you. Some of you may be too in your feelings and you're not listening to your gut. Absolutely. Not being logical. If you were to put those together, if it was one person, if it was you, that's a need to master your emotions and, and be logical. You know, if, it, if you put those two energies together and, and tie it into one person, we have somebody here that not, is not being logical. They're too in their feelings. They're not being logical. You need to get logical. You need to, you need to look at things from a new perspective. You need to be open-minded. We definitely have somebody here that is too in their feelings and they need to be logical. There is a woman here that is, is wrecking havoc on your life, definitely. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, But I think that you're really in your feelings about something. Now, this this Queen of Swords, this Queen of Swords is is whether it's upright or reverse. This person is a professional. Maybe a prof whatever this person does, they're very very professional. They're very skilled. Aha! Uh -huh. We got a skilled player here. Let's keep going. <gasps> Emperor and the Hermit. Two cards. 
So Emperor is probably your energy. The Hermit, you may be dealing with a Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You're probably in the process of making plans, plans about your future. Uh, I feel like you are in a position where you're in a high, high position. You're in the position to make a decision about your future this week. Okay? Maybe you're choosing to be alone. The Hermit is being alone. You know, this is going within, uh, re-identifying, withdrawing from others, completely going within, uh, realizing your true, realizing your true identity. You may be realizing your true identity this week. You're probably thinking about your family, thinking about your kids. Grown, you've grown a lot of wisdom. You've become wise throughout time. This is a very wise, wise, uh, masculine energy here. So I feel like you've gained a lot of wisdom through your time of introspection. I think you've been going through a time of introspection. And I feel like you still are. I feel like you're still thinking. You're still thinking about your future. You're thinking about your children. Uh, you're thinking about where you've been and where you want to go. I feel like you, you may be feeling a little distant this week um, because you have to make a tough decision. And I think that you've been wearing a tough exterior. If you look at the armor that you've been, that somebody has on, we have somebody here that's been wearing a tough exterior, you know, and I feel like you need to, uh, maybe you need to open up a little bit. I feel like you're protecting yourself in a very big way. You may be even thinking about your own childhood, and I don't know if it has something to do with a father, but I feel like you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening during this time, right now, as we speak. And it's like, I'm not going to show any weakness. I feel like you're you're unwilling, you know, you don't want to show any, any weakness, weakness. I feel like you... Um, are, are, it's like it's, it's like you're really holding back. I feel like you're holding back. You're holding. You're. It's interesting. It's interesting about that Queen of Cups. There's something about feelings. I think that you're holding back your feelings. I also feel like they're dealing with somebody that is very, very emotional. Maybe even vindictive, and and maybe you're thinking about you know the circumstances. What's this person going to do? You know, if you put those two, if it's one person, if you take the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords together, you combine them into one person, this person can hurt you, okay, or hurt your family, or, you know, this person um, is vindictive. Very, I think that you are definitely dealing with somebody that is a very vindictive But there's somebody here that is something to do with the cards. So what the hell are these cards? Well, it's interesting because I see the cards being laid out in this skilled player card. I feel like I feel like you're, there's somebody here that is giving you a message and you're ignoring it. You are ignoring it. You're in a temporary situation. You're thinking a lot, thinking a lot about who you are, who, who you've been be become, your children, your family. What, you know, your your past, your past, you know, your your upbringing. And there's, a, there's a light bulb here, seeing the light with the Hermit card. So this is like seeing the light. So I feel like you're going through a time of introspection and you're becoming self-aware of something. You're becoming aware of, of who you are or, or something like that or, or something that has happened. I feel like there's been some unfair treatment with that Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody may have manipulated another person with their emotions. There is emotional manipulation here. You're dealing with an, a, a, a manipulation later um with that queen of cups and the queen of swords reverse if those two people are combined it's emotional manipulation tears poor poor pitiful me liar i'm getting him in twos knight of cups ten of pentacles reversed now, the Knight of Cups is looking for love, okay? This is somebody that is looking for a relationship that is very charming, very lovable, very gentle, very kind. Um, this is a knight in shining armor. I'm not sure if a knight in shining armor has showed up into your life. This is some sort of wooing or uh, 
somebody that is making a move, you may be getting an offer or an invite from somebody or you're going to be express somebody's expressing their feelings towards you. I feel like there's some sort of uh approach somebody has approaching you or there's an arrival here of a lover i mean the knight of cups is a lover but the ten of pentacles re the reverse and it, and you know the ten, the page of the knight of cups could be somebody that it feel like it's somebody that you already know uh, I feel like, you know, you're going to be, uh, this is like getting a proposal from somebody that you already know, okay, or an offer or something like that. Um, somebody may be declaring their feelings for you, or there could be just somebody that is showing up. But anyhow, the Ten of Pentacles reverse is short-lived success, financial disaster, huge losses. Um, we have somebody here that... I don't know if there's family feuds, there's family fighting, or there's a change of residence here, there's fighting over money, um, there's an unstable business or home life here with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like I feel like you have somebody here that is using their emotions, and it has to do with getting your your fine your money. They're using their their. It's like they're saying I love you. They're saying all the right words to get your money. But it's all a lie. Oh, come on. We've been taught. I'm so sick of this shit. Poker face. It's all about the money. That skilled player. That's, that's about getting money. This is a con artist. You're dealing with a fucking con artist. That says all the right words, right? I love you so much. Then you got this bitch, Queen of Swords, telling you how it is and you don't want to hear it, right? <clears throat> we also have somebody here that, you know, the Knight of Cups could be a ladies' man, you know, or, you know, could go either, either way. I don't know what you call that for a woman. Ladies' man, that would be... <laughs> I don't know. If you're a woman, it's a woman. If you're a man, it's a woman who needs constant attention from several men. Okay, that goes around, isn't really looking for solid commitment. You know, they don't really want stability or security here. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is a disaster. It is a financial disaster. It's total ruin. Okay, it's massive debt. It's bad business. A bad business deal. It's a, or, it's a, or it's fighting over money. It's a family feud. So I feel like you are dealing with some family issues. I feel like you're also dealing with somebody that doesn't like your children or your parents or something like that. Um... Knight of Cups. No. I feel like you got somebody here that says all the right words. Okay, they say, I'll, I'll, I love you so much. This is somebody that speaks fluent love language. But it's, it's not, there's no stability to it. There's nothing long term to it. It's just words. It's just words. And I think that I, there's... There, there, Losing it all. Ten of Pentacles reverse is losing it all. It is. It is. It's the end of a of a, of a empire. It's the collapse of an empire. It's a collapse of a of a relationship. Okay, that somebody may have just married or they got into the commitment just for the money, just for the money. But they said all the right words. It's something. It's, some, it's like a, a some. You know. It's a water sign trait, and I hate to say that because I don't want people, people are gonna get their panties in a bunch, okay? It is what it is, I don't really care, really. It is, they, they, they have a way with words and speaking the words that you need to hear, okay? They speak fluent love. They speak it, they it, rolls right off their tongue, fluently, okay? That's, they do, that's what they do, okay? But I feel like there's no reality in the words, okay? It's not. Actions speak louder than words. If you're fighting over money or if you've seen the signs that all this person wants is money and you've been ignoring your gut, which you have, we had that card, 
you know, maybe you need to wake up. And I think that you're thinking about it. I think that you're thinking about everything, okay? You're definitely stuck in a very troubling situation with that Six of Swords reversed. It does have to do with children. It has to do with your family. It has to do with your children. And it has to do with your money. I feel like I feel like whoever you're dealing with, I don't know if this person is dealing with a younger man. Maybe you're ignoring that too. Um, I do believe you are in a temporary situation and I think that you're going to be going within. I think that you are going within to plan your next move. I do feel like uh, you need to make a judgment call. I feel like you need to be really honest with yourself about the foundation that you're in and who you're dealing with. I think you're going through some sort of awakening. I think you're becoming aware. You are definitely dealing with a player who has played their cards very, very well with you. They have. They have. And you've completely missed it. If you think about the full reverse, that's naive. Feel free to look it up. That is naive. And I think that you have been naive. And if you think I'm saying all this stuff just to be mean, I happen to be a Taurus and the Taurus reading wasn't very good either. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm telling you the truth and the truth hurts. Losing it all. Losing it all. You may be getting poor advice from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could cause you to lose it all. Be careful who you listen to. This person acts on their feelings. They're not practical. Okay, there's no logic there. Okay, so they may be telling you, I don't know if they're telling you to go after somebody's money or to go after somebody's home. I could turn right around and kick you right in the ass. I know that's what's going to happen. We are dealing, you're dealing with somebody that is very cunning, that is very clever, that is very, very sneaky. This person is plotting, they are planning, they're very strategic. You need to be extremely, extremely, extremely careful during this time. This is somebody that is extremely cunning. They've got you, they've got it in a bag. Look at them. This is a cunning individual. Extremely cunning. This person is not your friend. They, they're getting away with it. It's like, ha, 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 I got you. I got you. You need to go within and really think about who you're dealing with. Think about your decisions. Think about your choices. Think about the words. Do they really match up with the person's character that you're dealing with? Does their character match their words? Is, are they looking to get rich quick? Are they looking for, are they looking for just the money? Is that all they talk about is the money? Is that the only thing you have in common with this person? You're dealing with a thief, a very cunning thief. And I feel like you may be making some sort of escape. Maybe you're thinking about making an escape or making a getaway. You're definitely in the process of thinking, going within. You may have another lover here, or no, well, you do have two options. You definitely have two options. Oh, I said something about making a getaway. Eight of Cups, goodbye. That is goodbye. This is a necessary but painful alteration. This is goodbye. Somebody's saying goodbye. They're going in a new direction. They are. They're saying goodbye to the disappointment. They're leaving. So I do believe there is a goodbye. I've got to show you what's on the bottom. 
tower, major disruption, life change, internal disruption. There's some sort of disruption here. Somebody is going to have a disruption that changes their life. They are forced to start over, start over with a clean slate. This is a necessary evil. This is the universe causing a change, causing somebody to go in a neuter. There's no choice. There's no choice at this point. The universe is taking charge. And I feel like it's going to put you in a position where you have to make a decision. You know, some of you are going to be going your own way with the hermit card. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. Anyhow, um, the tower, major disruption. Somebody could be getting thrown out. There is definitely going to be... Um, some sort of fireworks, something is going to happen, it's going to be massive, massive disruption, explosion, something is exploding, this is an explosion of some sort, it's a major life change, it's a dismantling of a false sense of security, which you have been involved in, it's in your reading, you have been involved in a false sense of security, it's a false foundation, maybe it's a false home, it's a temporary home. I don't know. Whatever this is, there's going to be a blow up. There's going to be some sort of disruption that changes your circumstances. Goodbye is imminent. This is goodbye. Leaving it all behind. So you, somebody is definitely saying goodbye. They're saying goodbye to a foundation that was built on false pretenses from the beginning. There is a lot that was hidden. The light is going to be shed. The light is being shed. There is, could be some truth. There's definitely light being shed with the hermit and this card. So there is some sort of light being shed. It's like things being ripped apart. The walls, you know, whatever has been hidden is about to be revealed. The light is being shed. It's going to be sh a shock. It's going to be a surprise. So there is a shock here. There is a surprise. And maybe it's... You know, after you go through your awakening, there could definitely be, you know, the, the, because there is, a, there is an awakening here with the Hermit card right next to the Emperor card. I feel like you are about to experience a life-changing event that changes your destination. It definitely changes your destination. You can't stay here. You can't stay here. You can't. There's no choice. There is no choice but to rebuild someplace else. So something is happening. It's not. It's big. It's huge. This could be with a business. It could ha do with where you live. It's it's where you spend a lot of your time. So if you have a full time job somewhere, or you have a job somewhere. It could be there. If it's a relationship, it could be. It could be with a relationship. It could also be with your body. Okay, this has to do with a foundation that you were in where there's. There, it just can't stay, it can't hold up anymore. It's, it's all done. It's done. It's shaky. It's shaky and it's about to crumble and it's about to crumble and hit hard. I think it's going to hit really, 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 really hard. Um, saying goodbye to a unstable business or, or family situation. That's what we got here. Good luck. Good luck.